treasury in XMS at the local church. Okay? Nous sommes au niveau de l'église locale et nous revoyons le processus, n'est-ce pas, d'activation du produit de trésorerie. So let's make sure first that you are in a church. Okay? C'est de vous rassurer que vous êtes sur l'église de gestion église. So in the first page here we do have some information about the treasury. Alors, dans la première, sur la première page, vous avez quelques informations sur euh, les trésorerie qui apparaissent. So you can see all the balances of all your accounts here. Et vous pouvez avoir ici la visibilité des de soldes de vos comptes. So you have your receipted cash, your cash account. Vous avez, n'est-ce pas, espèce, compte de banque. Your bank accounts. Euh, compte de banque. In our case, you have two bank accounts. Euh, dans ce cas de figure, nous avons deux comptes bancaires. And the control account, ok? n'est-ce pas le compte de contrôle? The control account is the account that will manage all the transactions between the conference and the church. Le compte, n'est-ce pas, qui vous permet d'avoir la visibilité de transactions entre l'église locale et la fédération. So, if you see a negative amount here, it's probably because you need to send money at some point to the conference. Si vous voyez négatif ici, ça veut dire qu'à un certain moment, vous devez à la fédération de devoir transmettre les fonds. So one of the first things we can do and we need to do here in ACMS is record tithe and offerings. La première chose, les et les so you go to uh, income, receipt, tithe and offering. Donc vous allez ici entrer, deal et offrande. In this page, you can Dans cette page, ici, you can Enter all the receipts for a particular week or a particular month. Vous pouvez ensuite tous les reçus, n'est-ce pas, pour un mois particulier ou une semaine. And the first thing that you need to pay attention is to this configuration. Alors, première chose, c'est de voir la configuration ici. Which month we are? Le mois dans lequel nous sommes. The which remittances of that month we are? Et n'est-ce pas la période de de rapport de fonds and the type of your church in our case is a weekly church et voir ici n'est-ce pas euh, dans quelle option nous sommes mensuel ou euh, hebdomadaire which means every week after the sabbath we need to generate the remittance to the conference ça veut dire que chaque semaine si c'est hebdomadaire nous devons n'est-ce pas envoyer un rapport à la fédération So, if your church is weekly, every week. If your church is monthly, you need to do this process just once a month. Alors, si c'est mensuel, vous faites le processus mensuel. The next thing, in order to create a new receipt, you need to create a new batch. A new batch. Alors, pour créer un nouveau reçu, il faut créer un nouveau batch. So you use this new option, the green button, new batch. Alors vous avez n'est-ce pas un nouveau lot, c'est le lot. Vous créez un nouveau lot. The system will always suggest the next Sabbath. Et le système va vous générer n'est-ce pas le Sabbath qui suit. But you can actually change to any day in the calendar, okay? Mais vous ne pouvez changer à toute autre une date comme ça dans le calendrier ici. So before you say it, verify if you're typing the information the right day that you want. Avant de se regarder, rassurez-vous de donner ce que vous avez enseigné là-dedans. Rassurez-vous la figure de la semaine. So let's save it and we create a new batch. Là, nous avons un nouveau lot. And now we have two options. We have the option to capture and the option to close. Et là, vous avez l'option soit de saisir ou de clôturer ou de fermer. And that's moment, what we need to do is to enter new receipts. So let's capture the receipts. Alors, qu'est-ce qui est pour nous, c'est de saisir. And this, in this page, the first thing we need to enter in the system is the name of the person that we are doing the receipt. Et dans ce, cette option ici, maintenant, la première chose, c'est de saisir le nom de la personne que nous voulons, n'est-ce pas, euh, So ACMS will preload the system with all your members of your church. Donc le système lui-même va vous faire avec une position puisque c'est déjà inséré les noms des membres d'église. So when I start to typing, et dès que je commence à insérer une 
if you show all the list of the numbers that we have space. And I need to select the name. Et là, je dois uh, les noms. If I have an email, I can enter the email of this person so they can get a receipt. I enter the category, the type of category. So if I select here, I can see the list of all the categories I have available for me. Si je déroule là, j'ai la liste ici. Et là, c'est oui, type de, de nom. In my case, I want type. Dans mon cas de figure, DIM, section DIM. I go to the next field and then I put the amount of type. Et là, je vais, je vais autant pour moi, le euh, niveau de, du montant. I can put any notes if I want to put also here. Là, je peux introduire, mais c'est pas n'importe quel montant. Then I save it. Et je sauvegarde. And if in the tight envelope I have in the other side combined offering, I can type the combined offering uh, uh, category. Uh, si c'est il a donné aussi le fond, le fond combiné. Then I know that the number is 19. So okay. combined offering and the amount. Fond combiné et le montant. I can save the, the line. You can see the right side. Now I have type and offering and combine offering. And if I'm done, I can use the dark blue button to save the receipt. Si je j'ai terminé ici avec les transactions, je peux lui enregistrer la réception. So you can see that now the receipt is recorded and saved in the database. Donc déjà, voici le reçu. Les transactions sont sauvegardées au niveau du de la base des données. But what if I and the city is actually ready for the next receipt, right? No, just the system is cool. After you save, the system will be ready for the next receipt. Okay, bon, automatiquement, le système, quand vous avez sauvegardé, le système va directement revenir pour un autre reçu. So I will start typing the next name. Donc le nom, et là je peux saisir un autre nom, ici. And as you know, I could not select anybody with this name because it was not a member probably of this church. Well, no, but it's the uh, moment in question is the parent of this church, the parent of this church, so there. So because of this, I I need to try to search if this person actually belongs to another church in the CMS in the Adventist church. Alors, je vais voir dans quelle mesure chercher si cette personne appartient à une de nos églises. So, this little, little button, this little magnifier can do a, what we call a global search. Alors, ce bouton de recherche ici peut nous aider à faire une recherche euh, complète. So, we do respect some configuration, some uh, some privacy configuration, but if it has no restriction, you can search in any church. And I found this member in a different church, and I can select it then now. And now I can continue to give the type for this person. Et je peux continuer à enregistrer la vie de cette personne. So, I put this amount, move, move, mon temps, save it, sauvegarder. One very important tip is that you can use this page without using the mouse of your computer, just with your keyboard. Donc, une des astuces, c'est que nous pouvons utiliser, pour aller vite, utiliser le clavier. So, I can use the story. I can just type the number. Non, je sais seulement euh, le montant. Euh, the number of the, the category, then enter. Oui, je vais entrer. Put the amount. Le montant. Enter. Entrer. 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 Enter to save. Entrer pour sauvegarder. It 
goes back to the heaven again, I will choose fifty five. Enter, enter. If you open fifty five, it's no offering, right? I can choose then the department. The department. Let me choose Pathfinder Club. Okay. La Gia, la Jeunesse. So enter again, enter, save. If I'm ready, I can hit enter again and save the receipt. Okay, so what if I try to search another person? And I try to find this person, and I don't find anybody. And I try to find this person, and I don't find anybody. So it is not in any church. What I do? Dans le monde appartient à aucune des églises. Qu'est-ce que je fais? Can I still receive to this person? Est-ce que je peux les reçus? Yes. But if you don't select any names, you need to select by la. You need to choose this option, not yet a member anonymous. Because then the system will allow you to move to type the address. So when you do this, this person will not be linked to a record in ACMS. So when you do this, this person will not be linked to a record in ACMS. So you will not be able to give a history of giving to this person. So I will just put a combined offering here. Voilà, au fond combiné. Save, save, and save, and I will, I will be able to receive to uh, just a description. Okay, and la description ici. It's one time receiving now. Donc là. And the last type of receipt that I want to show to you is the uh, loose offering. The offerings that you are collecting in your offering place, okay? Money that they put in the offering place, but there's no name linked to it. Okay, voici notre reçu à Ebes ici lié aux offrandes libres, offrandes de culte. Voici ici comment faire pour rentrer ces données. And you have this loose offer, offering uh, option here. Vous avez l'espace option d'offrande libre. And then you click there. You can add a little description. Let's say Sabbath. Voilà. School. Vous sélectionnez la bonne loose offering, offrande libre. Et là, vous précisez l'espace avec un petit libellé. And the system will automatically type for you the category in this case is 24. Those are the system will not send you a book to send you on the level of the category 24 or 20. So this loose offering has the same distribution of the combined offering. So that's why we can use that. Donc c'est le même processus pour ces deux pour faire combiner deux partitions. So let me put the amount. Say say. And so this is the basic, okay? So after you enter all your receipts for a particular Sabbath or a particular week, and you are done, you can come back to the batch and see the total amount that you have here, okay? Donc pour partir et avoir une visibilité du montant total reçu. So you can see that in this particular batch you have four receipts and the total amount it is five thousand and nine hundred. And the recommendation now is to print the checklist report so you can check all your work. So in this report, you can see all the receipts in one one view. So you can check if you made any mistakes. But if everything is okay, you can close. 
and calculate the batch. Si vous êtes prêt, vous pouvez clôturer et faire le calcul de des fonds envoyés. But if you find a mistake, you are still in able to change and fix it. Okay? Ah, si vous avez fait une erreur, ça va être difficile de changer. Quand vous avez fait Before close, you can change anything. Okay? Okay, avant de changer, n'est-ce pas, vous devez vérifier pour est-ce à même de changer. But everything is okay, we are going to close. Bon, ici, on est sûr que c'est ok, nous allons le tirer. After you close a batch, you cannot change anything in that batch. Et là, quand c'est clôturé, vous ne pouvez plus changer. Okay? At this moment, when you are closing, we are generating all the receipts. Quand vous clôturez, nous pouvons générer les reçus. So, and you have a few options now. You can print your receipt using this little button. Vous pouvez imprimer votre reçu, utilisant cette option ici, reçu. So let's see the receipts here. Okay. So you have the receipt here. You have the history of the receipt. You have the receipt here. You have the history of the receipt. And if you print this, the member can also scan this QR code to check if this is a a real receipt generated by ACMS. And when the member finishes the payment. Ah, le reçu sur le reçu. Il peut vérifier si les avances, ce reçu que vous avez remis euh, au membre est authentique. And these two first receipts, they are linked to a member, so you have a history. But receipts that are not linked to the member, you can see that there's no history for this member. Non, les reçus pour les membres qui sont des personnes, simplement, qui ne sont pas dans le système, il ne va pas avoir euh, l'historique ici. Ok. But if you have an email or a phone number and it is configured, when you close the batch, they will automatically receive an email. We receive an email with their receipt. Okay. Quand vous clôturez l'espace de l'eau, automatiquement, ça va être envoyé dans les emails des personnes. In this email, this is the email that they get. Et voici l'aperçu de l'email qu'ils reçoivent. They have an attachment. Il y a un document joint. Document joint. That they have the receipt. In my case, there's a configuration to to be blank. But they also have a full history of the last twelve months. Et là, ils peuvent avoir une visibilité de leur historique durant les douze But what if I have a problem with this batch and I read out, I'm already close this batch? How do I do to fix it? You have to cancel the receipt, okay? So before before the batch is closed, you can change anything. Avant de fermer l'eau, changer, puis changer n'importe quoi, puis changer. After close, we generate the receipts. You cannot change any information there. L'eau est fermée, vous ne pouvez pas changer. You need to cancel the the whole receipt. Vous devez simplement annuler. And to do that, you need to go in under income reverse cancel receipt. Et pour le faire, vous allez dans entrée, n'est-ce pas, annulation reverse, reverse annulation. So let me put the the year here. Je vais l'année ici, 2024. Le mois. We are in the month four in my church, that's in 2023. Okay. Let me find the last Sabbath. You can see that Alors, this is the batch that we were typing. Ça c'est le 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 lot qu'on a saisi ici. And I say that this offering it was wrong, so I will cancel this receipt. Alors je me rends compte que ce reçu était erroné. Alors je veux euh, annuler ça. So 
you can select the ones that you want. In my case, I will select just one. À droite, on va configurer. Je vais annuler selon celui-ci. And then you need to give a reason for that. So Et là, vous devez donner la raison de l'annulation. So the wrong amount. Voilà. Mon temps est revenu. So let's save it. Et là, mon temps. So and now we are canceling the electricity. Et là. If, if they never receive an email when the generator receipt, when you cancel the receipt, they will also receive a new email informing them that the receipt was canceled. Reçoit un email quand vous émettez le reçu, de même aussi quand vous annulez, ils reçoivent l'email. And you can come back to the main page here, the receipt type and offers to see that one a new batch was generated with the wrong amount. Vous pouvez aussi voir ici avoir la visibilité. De cette annulation. Okay. And if you need to fix that, you can create a new batch and type the new receipt si with the right amount. Or if you need to add a new batch and insert the amount exact. Okay. So this is the basic to enter the receipts in your church. Voilà, ce sont les éléments de base pour les notions de base pour insérer. Part of the basic training also is to handle all the expenses of your church. Donc c'est aussi une autre élément important, c'est de gérer les dépenses de vos églises. So under the expenses, you have the option to type a new expense. Donc dans les dépenses, vous avez l'option d'avoir les espaces nouveaux de nouvelles dépenses. And if you want to type a new expense, you need to come first to this little green button. Pour une dépense, vous voulez insérer un système nouveau ou une nouvelle dépense. New. So when I click new, the first thing that I need to choose it is which department of my this church I am doing this expense. Et là, vous devez sélectionner premièrement le département. Alors, la dépense est affectée à quel département? So let's say it's the Pathfinder Club. C'est la GIA. And then, which category I'm using? Why I'm doing? What I'm? Quelle catégorie? C'est précisément quoi? C'est. In my case, I'm doing the equipment acquisition. Le date c'est l'obtention de l'équipement. So I'll choose a date here. La date, je choisis la date ici. Twenty-three is needs to be May, and then I put the amount. Et là, je sais le montant. I have to say the type of document that I that they gave to me when I bought. In this case, it can be an invoice. The number of the invoice. Let's say I am buying a laptop, so let's say it's a Dell computer. So the provider. Provider. And then you uh, put a description, say that laptop. Voilà. Préciser le libellé. If I'm done, I can include and then inform the system how I paid for this laptop. Et je peux ajouter ici, inclure, n'est-ce pas, et puis informer le système comment j'ai obtenu ce laptop. So I use this little dark blue button. Je mets le bouton de là, paiement, pay. And then, how did I pay for this? I use Cash or I pay this uh, my bank account. So let's say in this case I use the bank account to pay. I can even change the, the, the description here. You can change the description here. Okay. Pay. Then I pay. Laptop. I pay. I confirm. So after pay, I can come back. This is your return to the search page, and I can see even this laptop here that I just bought. Okay. So if I, what I need to do next? Okay. I did. I capture all my receipts. I capture all my expenses for that particular week or that particular month. So the next step that I need to do is to generate the remittance. Alors, après avoir, n'est-ce pas, 
insérer, enregistrer, les entrées et toutes mes sorties en termes de dépenses, la prochaine chose à faire, c'est de calculer les fonds à son statut. Ok, you need to generate the remittances. So you do this under income, receipt, type and offerings. Et donc la remittance, c'est au niveau de au niveau de calcul, au niveau des entrées, au niveau de remittances. And then you have in this in this page you have the option to calculate the remittance. In order to do that, you need to have at least one closed batch for each Sabbath. In our case, we are a weekly church, so we do have one batch for this Sabbath, so we are ready to calculate. So I calculate, I can see this, this summary information. But let me go back, let's say if I just create a new batch, and I try to calculate the remittance. Et j'essaie de calculer les fonds d'expédition d'envoi, des fonds. I have a message here. Il y a un message qui apparaît. All bags need to be closed before calculating the remittance. Voilà, on va simplement dire que tous les lots doivent être clôturés ou fermés avant de faire le calcul. So when you are trying to calculate or using the system, you get a message. Alors quand vous faites le calcul, vous recevez un message. I will ask kindly, read the message, okay? Je vais vous recommander toujours de lire le message. The message will help you to understand what is wrong and le what message, you need to do. Le message vous aide à voir ce qui ne va pas. Il faut le lire toujours. So maybe you don't have a badge for each Sabbath. So the system will say you don't have a badge for each Sabbath. Please create the badge. Peut-être que vous n'avez pas de, de lot pour chaque Sabbath. Le système vous informe qu'il n'y a pas de lot. Il faut créer un lot. Or like in this case, we have an open batch. We need to close all the batches in order to calculate. So what we do to, to fix this situation here? I can close the batch, or in this case, je peux fermer le lot ou dans ce cas de figure. As I don't have any transaction, I can actually delete this batch. Je peux simplement annuler ou plus ou moins ce 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 lot. When we close the batch, we oh. can also see a report of how the transactions, how these affect our bank accounts. Nous pouvons aussi, quand les lots sont clôturés ou fermés, nous pouvons aussi voir plus ou moins les transactions, un rapport de transactions en fait. So, we go to the transaction report. Je vais dans cette option, rapport de transactions. And here we can see. The total amount of this batch went to my receipted cash. Et le total de ces montants, le montant d'entrée là, était au niveau de des espèces. And in my control account, I have the trust funds that I need to send to the conference. Et dans mon mon compte de contrôle, j'ai ce montant qui est à la dessus que je dois transmettre au fournisseur. So you can see that this is a negative amount. Ah, c'est quoi le montant négatif ici? And the difference is the amount of local offers that we have for that batch. We can see the same information in the batch here, okay? Total, local, and conference amount. Au niveau du lot, vous pouvez avoir la visibilité, n'est-ce pas? Vous avez total, vous avez église locale, vous avez conférence ou fédération, ou ici. So let's calculate the remittances. Alors, on fait le calcul de fonds dans le pack. And here you have a summary of that week or that month. Vous avez un résumé de la semaine, de ce mois. The total amount, the church amount, the local, the conference amount, the expenses that you have in that week, the dépenses de cette semaine, and the amount that you actually have to pay for the for the conference that month. Le montant évidemment à transférer à la fédération. Okay. And this will be affected if you pay the last remittance or not. In this case, I probably didn't pay some of the remittances in this in this church, so it's charging me everything that I own to the conference. Dans le cas de figure, c'est sûr que ce montant ici parce que j'ai des dettes. 
But if I'm ready, I can just read it. You will ask me for a confirmation. Because there's no return, okay? When you generate a remittance, there's no return. So let's generate the remittance. And then you have a report to see the summary of that month or that week. So you have all the bags and the summary information here. The total amount that you need to pay. Who is this re the, the responsible for generating this remittance? And then also the expenses. So it's a summary. So you can the rapport and what's it and resume. The next step after you generate the remittance, you need to inform the system if you pay the amount that you pay to the bond. The step suivant est de savoir informer le système si véritablement le montant a été payé. Cash payé. Le paiement est direct. So you can use this little orange button to do that. Vous allez au niveau du bouton orange pour le faire. So you need to inform the bank account of the church, the business that you are sending the money. The date. The Let's say that we pay this date here. This is that. Maybe this. It's a description. A description. Okay. If you have any transaction reference or number, and the amount that you actually pay. So let's say that I pay three thirty thousand. Okay, that would be fifteen. And I use my bank account to do that. So this you can choose the. The, the church account that you are using to pay the conference. But, but I, was, I was only the church, the conference, 50,000. So, Alors, je devais, uh, so I will now do the rest of my payment using cash. Alors, le reste de mes, de mes paiements, je vais faire en espèce. So I will put there's no transaction for cash. Let's say that I put now twenty thousand, and then I choose receipted cash as the, the account to pay the conference. Voilà, j'ai payé en espèces. So you can do many payments as you do to the bank. You enter that information in a sense. On peut faire plusieurs paiements, on peut faire plusieurs faire des paiements effectifs au niveau de so with this, we actually finish the cycle of the remittance in one church for one month or for one week. And as we have finished the cycle, we have the cycle of transactions that we have to effectuate in a week, 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 in a week. Okay? And I just want to share now three reports that are important for you to know. Under reports financial, treasury transactions, here you have your bank statement, your all your accountant statements. So you can choose one particular account or you can list all the accounts. Choose the period that you want to analyze. And then list the report. So you can see the account and all the transactions that are happening in every one of your accounts. Okay? Okay, now we have and this is a very important report, but you need to 
if you want to understand what's actually happening with each transaction in your church. Under the same option, you also have a monthly salary. Le résumé mensuel. And here you have a summary of what happened in a particular period in, in your church. Et là vous avez des pas un résumé de ce qui s'est passé dans votre église en particulier. So if you choose the, you can choose the the monthly uh, report group by month or group group by remittance. Vous pouvez faire une sélection par groupe ou bien par euh, rapport de fond d'emploi. C'est juste la période et la liste. Choisissez la période. Et là. Et ici, vous avez week by week le nombre de amount de taille, de combine et de offres que vous recevez pour votre church. Donc, par semaine, ici, vous avez une visibilité des livres, des offrandes, des spots, des sélections et. Les montants qui apparaissent. Yeah. So you can see the tie goes 100% to the conference, so you have that information here. And then a summary of the, the total amount that is going to the conference, the total amount that is paid into And also at the bottom, you have a list of all the expenses for that period. Et aussi pour cette période, vous avez la liste de toutes les dépenses effectuées. So this is a basic summary of the process and the reports in the conference, at the conference level, at the church level, sorry.